everybody else. You know, Gilmo was supposed to bring me peanut brittle today, but that didn't happen. But you did I make a good flan. You made a bean flan, so okay. it went well. Uh, so you <laughs> need maybe uh, something else uh, nice and tasty for tomorrow, and pack it to get outside because the sunshine is going to be there. As we take a look, what's going on across the metroplex right now? We still have the rain that is here. Not all of us seeing the rain. There's some drizzle around, some sprinkles, but some pockets of some heavier rain right now through Colony County, about to move into Rockwall County. This is uh, what I've been watching through the night and we did see a couple of storms pop up some isolated storms nothing severe but i've been watching the upper level energy continue to shift its way to the east and once that finally pushes its way far enough to the east will start to dry out but it's right on track with what the forecast is and you can see with the future sky forecast that starts to slide its way southeast overnight and then into the morning hours we're going to see a cold front slide through dry us out they're not really cool us down too much but we're going to be seeing at least those winds switch around and that's that's going to be the other story for tomorrow. Our winds are going to be near 15 to 25 miles per hour, gusting up slightly higher than that. So please keep that in mind as you make your plans. But it's a great day to get outside. Sunny skies on the way. 58 degrees will be the high temperature by tomorrow afternoon. That's slightly above average. And then tomorrow night, with not a lot of cloud cover around, we're going to see temperatures cooling back down. But if you have your travel plans tomorrow, maybe you're going to be heading in the car, driving out to the west, or even down towards the south. Brownsville tomorrow, 75 degrees. The rain will continue to shift its way eastward. So then going into Friday, that sunshine sticks around. We'll be in the low 60s to the upper 50s here in North Texas. If you're traveling up to Oklahoma, mid 50s for Oklahoma. City on Friday afternoon. And your travel forecast continue. We go on Saturday here in the Southern Plains. Lots of sunshine, pretty much uh, state line to state line. We're going to see 67 in Midland. If you're traveling up to Little Rock, about 59 for Saturday. And then even into Sunday, it's going to be pretty nice. Slightly cooler. We have another frontal boundary approaching, and we start to see those clouds increase again as moisture returns. So with that moisture return, we have the potential of rain chances on Christmas Eve and on Christmas Day. So it remains all rain. It will not be cold enough for us to actually see any snow. So Sunday we have 58 degrees. Then going into Monday, Christmas Eve, temperatures are low 60s for us. We have this upper level energy shifting through. That shifts through. And then on Christmas Day, we see temperatures in the mid 60s for us and a little bit of rain on the way as this upper level low approaches. Rain chances after that on Wednesday at 40%. Maybe some strong storms. We'll keep our eyes on that. And then we start to dry back out. And we're going to be seeing temperatures in the low 70s drop again by next Thursday.